in this module we are going to explain the term opportunity cost that we have widely utilized in our various lectures so this opportunity cost is basically based on the concept of the alternative opportunity or the alternative utilization that is mostly available with the resources of the production so there can be the availability of the land and that land can be utilized for the production of various crops and the same land can be utilized for the production of various fodder and even at the same time if we are having the money in our hand that money can be utilized for the purchase of either food either for clothing or for the books so these are the alternative utilizations available so the consumer has to decide between these alternative utilizations and for these alternative utilizations when we have to forego one source of consumption with the other or either we have to sacrifice one production for the other that will include the concept of opportunity cost and not only the money not only the land even we consider the time in the 24 hour if we say that the time that is available we can utilize this time either for the production of anything means in the work either we can utilize this time for the utilization of certain entertainment means any type of the layer and so we have to decide or prioritize that how much hour we will utilize for the work and how much hours we will utilize for the entertainment and if we have to sacrifice our one hour of our entertainment when we have exams in other words agar main aapse kahu to jaise exams ke dauran mein aap apna khel kood ya entertainment ke kuch jo time hota hai hum usko sacrifice karke kuch mazid padhai ki taraf lagate hain to wo aapki opportunity cost of गेम्स बनती है कि जो आप लगा रहे हैं और अगर हम उसी तरीके से किसी और फॉर्म में आप देखें फैमिली में अगर कोई शख्स बीमार हो जाता है उसकी देखभाल के लिए कई दफ़ा आपको अपने कॉलेज या यूनिवर्सिटी से ऑफ लेना पड़ता है तो वो जो टाइम आपने उनकी देखभाल के लिए लगाया उस टाइम में वो वाली जो पढ़ाई आपकी अवेलेबल आपको नहीं हो सकी वो उस मरीज की देखभाल की अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट बनती है तो ये कॉन्सेप्ट सिर्फ प्रोडक्शन में नहीं इस्तेमाल होता ये कहीं पे भी जब हम दो रिसोर्स दो अल्टरनेटिव को इस्तेमाल करेंगे वो कंजम्पन हो सकता है वो वर्क हो सकता है वो प्रोडक्शन हो सकती है हम उसमें और इसी तरीके से हमने यहाँ एक एग्जांपल ली है शुगर वर्सेस एथेनॉल की तो कई दफा इंटरनेशनल लेवल की नहीं लेकिन नेशनल लेवल पे इकोनॉमी या कंट्री लेवल पे गवर्नमेंट को भी डिसाइड करना होता है कि अगर उसके मुल्क में बेतहाशा तो नहीं हम कह सकते एक सफिशेंट अमाउंट में गन्ने की पैदावार हो रही है तो उस गन्ने की पैदावार से क्या चीनी पैदा करनी है या उसी गन्ने से पैदा होने वाले मुलास को इस्तेमाल करके हमने एथेनॉल जो कि एक अदर फॉर्म ऑफ फ्यूल है उसको पैदा करना है तो अब गवर्नमेंट को डिसाइड करना है कि आइदर द अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट ऑफ शुगर इज मोर और द अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट ऑफ एथेनॉल इज मोर सो दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इज बेसिकली अ टूल दैट गिव्स द इंडिकेटर टू द प्रोड्यूसर और द कंज्यूमर टू डिसाइड और टू प्रायरिटाइज द वेरियस एक्टिविटीज दैट दे हैव इन देयर हैंड दैट विच हैज टू बी एलोकेटेड मोर रिसोर्सेज एंड फॉर विच वी हैव टू एलोकेट लेस रिसोर्स so now if we explain this with the help of a graph so here we have taken this one graph on its x axis we have explained that a good x that is the clothing that is going to be produced and with the same resources the we are going to produce the food so overall this thing that provide that this is the production possibility frontier for the production of these two goods and at the point a this amount of food is going to produce 
and at the point B, this amount of food is going to be produced. And if we take the difference between this point and this point on vertically, it gives us the difference of this. That is basically on y axis, and this is the change in the amount of food production. So from point A to point B, movement will include the loss of this production that we have sacrificed that at point a we were having food quantity in more number but at point b we are again producing the food but in less amount so this amount that we have sacrificed for the attainment of this amount of clothing and mean this shows the movement of point uh, for the point B from this C1 to C2. So, this movement and here we can say that the change in F divided by change in C is basically the change in the opportunity cost or we can say that it is the opportunity cost of this and it gives the marginal rate of transformation. So, this is basically not only the foregone level of the output in other form if we say that at point b that sorry at point a the production that was available of the food and of this clothing so for food there was certain level of capital and labor for food and that was divided by the capital and labor ratio that was utilized for the production of clothing. And on the other, at point B, we again say that that is the capital and labor ratio for food. And that has to be divided by capital and labor ratio for clothing. So, at these two points, when we say not only in the form of the output, this ratio when divided by this ratio it gives us the opportunity cost that is the foregone benefit or the foregone cost of that alternative use of these things.